from here, let us now return once again to the idea of the novel. <coughs> I come to the end. It should have become clear from what I have said that it is not just one new literary genre among others. By knocking legend from its throne, <coughs> the novel or the novella stands for the victory of the interesting over the edifying, for the triumph of curiosity over devoutness. <coughs> but this by no means exhausts its function. In truth, the novel is the mother of information. That means the news. Just as the new Monday belongs to creation, so Human Tuesdays belongs to the novel process. It reports not only on the small triumphs of human intelligence over circumstance, for it construes the big wide world that awaits tilling and telling us as a source of animation on which the enlightened recipients are not tired of drawing. The world as understood by moderns turns into a workshop of good cheer. Anyone reporting on it or printing it reports <coughs> is, so to speak, hooked up to a gospel generator, a gospel generator, and that is the definition of literature, uh, from which the innovation effervesce. Strange word. As long... <laughs> yeah. As long as the, the word does us the favor of confirming the archetypical prejudice we have as participants in modernization, that the new is also the good, the new is the better, and the new is the best. And you, needless to say, the word only does us this favor in extraordinary moments, which is why modern man has to get used to the fact that usually the good and the bad news is delivered unsorted X works. This applies even to the most novel of all no novelties, the news of the discovery of the new world, after which, uh, which after 1507 was called America, owing to a cartographical mistake. Hardly had Columbus ships returned to Spain in March 1493 than a severe syphilis epidemic brought out uh, the troops who shortly thereafter laid siege to Naples and some of whom had served on Columbus voyage. Uh, the direct connection between, uh, <coughs> between uh, navigation uh, and infection. And after the decim decimated army disbanded, the diseased ravaged all of Europe until the end of the century. And no less a man than Albert Dürer made the first precise representation of a syphilitic in a woodcut of 1496. And here the bad news was that an almost new disease was abroad. The good news was that the art of representation did not, start, did not stop short of syphilis. Yeah. And anyone who lives in modern times has to be patient and prepared to wait for more good news. As of 1910, the terror of syphilis was ameliorated by Paul Ehrlich's Salvazan and become completely controllable as of 1942, thanks to Alexander Fleming's penicillin. So being a, mo a modern person simply means to have the ability to wait 450 years uh, to bring syphilis under control. Yeah. This is a good news also for Dutch people. Yeah. 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 So it's a game of good news and bad news. And they travel on the same freight, freighter and transmit on the same frequency. Has defined modern life ever since. He who spins new news needs to know that in, doing, in so doing he helps shape the human climate. Our moods are part made by the catapults of information. And the real news, the daughter of the novel, is a communication that has a right, to, uh, a right to be disseminated insofar as in it there is a unity of information and, info and animation. And novels are no longer announced from the, from the pulpit, but spread 
thanks to their own networks and their intrinsically infectious qualities. And it is no coincidence that the Reformation in the 16th century has a new form book, <coughs> the new form of book printing based on movable type to thank for its success. Spreading the gospel in the, in the vernacular is the prototype of the benevolent symbolic epidemics which entrepreneurs are now themselves responsible for spreading. Now even the Bible appeared to, in a different light, however. Was the New Testament not the novel of the suffering son of God who gave other sufferers succor? As soon as the insights that creation had not ended gained sway, and the corresponding mood with it, was it not obvious that then, to then conclude that the addition of works and writings which people could, should know <coughs> for their salvation could likewise not be complete? Did not alongside and after the venerable Old Testament and the salvation a new one, a third, a newer testament need to be written and published that spoke of the events of the second week, of all the miracles of ongoing creation and of the adventures of the growing arts? It thus does not seem very surprising that the new publishers furnished with the ability to, tr to trigger small epidemics of the miraculous with their little lead letters, thought their exciting matter in places where it was to be expected, given the state of things, in the stories of people whom had encountered the remarkable and the memorable in their dealing with their own stars. After all this, we can offer the following definition of re definition. Renaissance is a period when this newest, this third testament was with the editors, or still better, it is with the editors. The outward symptom of the dispute between the old and the modern, <coughs> which only ostensibly gets resolved in the latter's favors, which can, as we now realize, impossibly be ended on its own ground. In truth, a second dispute is involved, that between the partisans of the New Testament, as we have called it, and those who profess to prefer the older revelations. You know, this is the, the, the today's main conflict, those who uh, believe in or con make even contributions to this complex of new narratives in the third volume of the Good News Collection. And those uh, we call sometimes fundamentalists who cling to the Old and New Testament. You know. And this tension cannot be construed with sufficient depth in terms of the customary notion of the relationship of reason and faith. And however much one may welcome the Regensburger hypothesis of Benedict XVI of the rationality of faith on account of his conciliatory and rational thrust, they are stated from a vantage point that is not located on what is actually a significant front line. The permanent renaissance that determines the true implicit calendar of modernity evolves as a network of dangerously infectious stories, animations worthy of repetition, and enterprises capable of exp <coughs> expansion through which the world knowledge of the age of globalization is articulated. And forever informal and open, this testament forms a swarm of micro-gospels flowing over a dark riverbed, something which can be seen in the muddiest currents that are new intelligences and animated energies, new good artificialities in the world that seek to influence people. And the first providers of this network were the libraries in their aristocratic, bourgeois and academic versions, which assembled everything that could be known or disseminated at that particular point in time. So from this point of view, though so our uh, <coughs> colleague uh, Jacques Derrida was in a, in a certain way so uh, uh, an employee of this uh, archive in which the uh, contributions of, this, of, the third, of, the third, of the third collection <coughs> were put together. Only in this climate could the figure of supplier could arise 
who even deals with the influences which he is readily prepared to bow down to. One of the first versions of such games is a figure of the publisher who invests his economic energy in the business of influence by bringing out novels and news that could at worst cost him his assets, but in best increase them and direct the reader's wishes to participating in the miracles of the secular world. Walter, that's for you, you see. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And now greater profile is achieved by the indispensable figure of the artist who engenders miracles and new natures. <clears throat> uh, now, it, uh, it, uh, the artist doesn't engender miracles. This is a mistake uh, by the translator. The modern, the modern artist is not a miracle doer, but he is a creator of uh, what we call mirabilia, so things we can admire. So, so, so no, no, see, the miracle is the, the medieval term for the, for the taumat sign. The mo modern traumatic activity is admiring uh, mirabilia, yeah. or new natures, or invention, C call it as you want. Yeah. Yeah. All of these figures converge in the figure of the entrepreneur who embodies the humanist ideal of modern times, the uomo universale. Because power and spirit combine in him, he becomes a witness to the opportunity afforded by the new opportunities, yeah, or the chances afforded by the new opportunities. He enables us to sense what the completeness of life means. In the person of Lorenzo de' Medici, whom contemporary already gave the title of Magnifico, yeah, 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 which was, as we have learned this morning, or remembered this morning, the title of the rector of a university, yeah? but this is the second uh, university of entrepreneurial intelligence, uh, the, the university of navigation, the university of the business of the business of the business world. Yeah? As a, he is a prime example of the player whose interventions takes the game to a new level. And this can happen because he makes his own existence a forum in which intelligences and talents of the most different kinds and cuts meet. He intervenes in the conversations of the ghosts and business transactions of his days as a medium, a host, a pimp, a patron. Today we would call him a networker and champions and a patron of champions, establishing a playing field on which the best can play with what plays around with them. Thank you for listening and forgive me for being a little bit longer than I could foresee. Thank you, uh, Professor Sodrak, for this. Uh, Informative, um, what, what, what should I say, in novel. <laughs> um, no, it's very impressive to, uh, to have all these uh, different lines and to keep them uh, together. It was the first time for me I heard it, so it's, it's not that easy to, to formulate a, mm -hmm. a central uh, question. But um, let me ask uh, a few things and, and reflect uh, a little bit on, on what you put, uh, put forward. Um, and I, I found it um, uh, quite surprising in a way that you are stressing the, the importance of, of Renaissance and especially uh, the, the, this part of, uh, of Italy um, in, in the, um, for, for the concept of, of modernity itself. And you could, so, so I, um, I would like to ask you um, what exactly is this relation between the, the response, you can say, uh, on, on, this, on this plague uh, that took place in, in Italy during the, the, mm -hmm. the 14th century. And let, let's say the response we, we, seek, we can see in, for example, uh, the Netherlands in the 15th century mm -hmm. uh, in, in reaction to uh, the Elizabeth flood, this, this big, big mm -hmm. disaster that, that took place. Uh, um, and you can see there, are, there is a different uh, line of, of, of responding. Mm -hmm. 
um, that it has something to do with this, this theme hope. And I think the, the religious response in Northern Europe mm. uh, has, a, has a very active uh, uh, sense also. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's also it's all, uh, an, an attempt to, to improve life, to, to uh, oh, yeah. and, and um, uh, so I, uh, and when we take a look at what, what, what happens next, I could say you, that there's a kind of shift taking place within Europe that the, in the, in the rise of, of Northern Europe uh, also in this, in this, mm -hmm. uh, in the rise of modernity. So uh, Max Weber, for example, stressed the importance for uh, of, of, of Protestantism uh, in, in the genesis of, uh, of mm -hmm. capitalism and this entrepreneurship, uh, etc. So mm -hmm. uh, I wonder what exactly um, is, is your uh, position towards this kind of mm -hmm. interpretation and is not uh, the aesthetic answer um, a, a kind of passive answer, I, I, mm -hmm. I would say. But, so but maybe I'll, I'll keep it to this. Uh, I have a lot of more questions, but mm -hmm. uh, I think... <coughs> Yeah, first of all, you have to consider uh, that uh, there are two ambitions in, in that story. Uh, the first ambition is uh, to <coughs> deliver a, a different narrative for, uh, within the history of philosophy. Mm -hmm. uh, it, there is a, a strong uh, uh <coughs> anti-Cartesian uh, element in that story. Yeah? So uh, we have to re-Italianize the history mm. of thinking, yeah, <laughs> to, a, to a certain extent, yeah, because uh, so, uh, this, uh, the French coup, uh, yeah, the French and British coup, uh, Descartes and Hobbes, yeah, uh, <coughs> was a was a was a, 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 fa a fateful <coughs> episode in the history of thinking. Uh, <coughs> Fruitful and fa fateful yeah, as, uh, as, at the same time, and we, we, we need the longer story. We, and this is uh, what, what I have to offer when mm -hmm. it comes to the question how uh, the longer story could, could sound uh, like. Uh, and the, the second division is uh, 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 what I could call the uh, uh, Establishing the new science of psychopolitics. Yeah. Uh, all modern societies <coughs> are experiments around the question how to make people do not know each other uh, to feel coherent. And <coughs> so, uh, and the answer, the psychopolitical answer, is uh, uh, by, by by means of. Uh, um, media techniques, you know, such as uh, no, novelle. Mm -hmm. you, know, you can provide uh, um, audiences, even populations, you know, with the spirit of coherence. They cannot develop uh, on their own because they are no longer uh, <coughs> um, uh, collectible units. Yeah. There is no, situa no imaginable, uh, con conceivable situation in which uh, a whole population of a, of, a, of a modern society can come together. Yeah. So, uh, so we live in the age of artificial togetherness. And this is the, 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 the core principle uh, of uh, society making, religion, literature. Yeah. And <coughs> And the perverse element into it is that uh, I show for, <laughs> that from the 14th century on, uh, liter liter literature takes the lead and becomes uh, effectively more important uh, than the so-called uh, uh, re uh, re re religious bonds. Uh, uh. It is not religion that keeps a, a nation state together. Uh. Yeah. It's news. I have a, yeah, I'm just uh, monitoring a, a, a very interesting doctorate uh, thesis uh, from a student in, in, in Karlsruhe uh, who, who ha has promised to tell the complete story uh, of news uh, from the 14th century 
uh, to uh, our evening news. Yeah. Uh, and this is a, it's a real story of modern society, you know, because it's, uh, it's a story of, that, uh, of the messages uh, that provide uh, large audiences, uh, uh, large po uh, uh, populations uh, with, the, with the feeling of having something to, to do with each other because uh, they inject, as it were, uh, shared uh, thrills, uh, shared promises and sh uh, in, into, 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 uh, so, so, so into the collective. Yeah. Yeah, if I may add to that, I, I think one of the uh, interesting aspects indeed of <coughs> what we see with the news is that it creates a sense of a, sh a shared community, but it also simply the, the fact of modern, how it works already somehow generates this community. Mm -hmm. So with the newspaper coming in every morning and picking yeah. it up, what I am doing is that I'm performing a ritual of which I know mm -hmm. the whole nation just received it in this morning. Yeah. And through that sense, we are already participating in some kind of collective enterprise. Um, and the eye that watches the news is the eye of the nation, is the yeah. eye of the entire audience. Yeah. So I listen, think in that sense I, it's absolutely I, central. In yeah. the, uh, listen, when I, when I came uh, to your ceremonies this, this morning, uh, uh, there was really a strong stress in the taxi because it, uh, it was clear that we would be uh, very late, very late. Yeah. The taxi driver was very quiet. Uh, because he, he told me it's normal uh, in Amsterdam. <coughs> Don't worry, it's normal. It was a, a kind of good news, but the, the, the real good news was he was listening Kurdish folklore music all the time. Uh, that sounded uh, a little bit li like Indian music. I asked him, uh, what, what is this music? He said, it's Kurdish uh, music. Uh, I'm from Turkey. And that was uh, the whole story. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I understood uh, when I go to your uh, doc doctor uh, disputation, the thing itself uh, is, all, is, is on the way to, to, the, uh, to your place uh, already there. Yeah? Because uh, uh, he was embedded in his uh, f folklore mu music. Yeah? But the folklore music was, uh, as it were, embed embedded uh, in the modern technology of spreading musical news. Yeah. And the, the best of all news in, in modern music is that there is no news. Yeah, nothing to say. So, uh, that is uh, the, the meaning of folklore. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> in Westen nichts Neues. Yeah. Or uh, in, uh, in, in Kurdistan nichts Neues. Yeah. That, that's the best of all news for, for, for people who, who, who desire uh, to, uh, to, to get something like uh, an anti-alarm. Yeah? They hear, listen to this kind of music. Yeah? I would say 99% 99, 99 of all music is, is, is sending on this frequency. Yeah? This is the, uh, the message of, of, of trivial music, of, of, of folkloristic music, uh, to inform you about the fact that everything is fine and you hear, hear the, same, the same sounds you have ever heard. Yeah? That's, that makes the, uh, the, evangelic, the evangelical quality of, of, re, of very re repetitive uh, <coughs> uh, sounds. Yeah. And, uh, and by the way, that is the disturbing, the dis disangelic quality of contemporary music. Yeah? If it's contemporary, it, it, has to, it has to be disturbing because modern news are bad news, according to the dogma of uh, contemporary music. Yeah. And there are only ve few, ve very few um, new composers who, 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 who are ready to, to integrate uh, good news into uh, modern sounds. And uh, maybe we'll live long enough to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you, you, you uh, use uh, re religious expressions to uh, characterize the way these novels uh, works mm -hmm. or in a uh, yeah. psycho-political psycho way uh, uh, mm -hmm. even. Um, but, but why is that? And, 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 and is, it, is it not so that in a way it, it presupposes a kind of uh, religious uh, uh, context or, 
or atmosphere within uh, that these these novels uh, can uh, express and yeah. cultivate. So yeah. they're not not really the the, f the, f the fundament itself, but are in a way um, an expression and a, yeah. a formation of it. Yeah. So that is absolutely correct. But, because, but, because I yeah. think in but these days yeah. now, now yeah. information yeah. Is, is not bringing people together, but is, is also driving them, uh, or, or, or as a driving force that, that um, mm. is, is putting them uh, one against the other, or it's not shaping it's the community. It's also an explosive. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but, uh, I would not use the term uh, religion because I don't believe that uh, that the Christianity uh, uh, can really be characterized as, as a religion, uh, or only in a, in a very superficial way. It is a, a reshaping of the motivational system uh, mm -hmm. of, of, of people in, 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 in the late antiquity uh, and offers them uh, an, uh, an alternative to the <coughs> separating effects of the of the politi polytheistic uh, pantheon, uh, that is one of the reasons why uh, Constantine uh, de decided to choose uh, this religion religion as a, 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 a kind of uh, a symbolic uh, social synthesis system for the Roman Empire. Uh, his, he he, he he believes that, as it was the, the Christian, kind of caliphate. yeah, so, yeah, kind of, not not only caliphate, but he, he he believes that the the Christian communication system, as it was the the, the, the church as a content provider and net provider at the same time, you know, that is what what a religion is all about. You know, as long as content and net are in the same hand, you know, uh, you have a church, you know. <laughs> yeah. and, <coughs> and, uh, and, and modernity be begins uh, when uh, there are <laughs> uh, people uh, demand that the contents be separated uh, from the network. You know. uh, and that is the tragedy of, of Christianity because uh, uh, there were new uh, <coughs> networking forces you know, that be uh, belong to the, to the third to the third gospel, yeah? which is, by the way, not, not a religious terminus, but it is a, a, a rhetorical ter term. Euangelion yeah? in Greek seems simply, me simply means good news, and is, it is a, re a political, rhetorical, and political, political rhetorical term, yeah? and that is what uh, Christianity is about. Yeah? See, uh, cri Christians are people uh, who believe that they have a good, good news, a good news. Uh, is a news that deserves uh, to be spread. Saving our soul, yeah, yeah. of course. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> saving our souls, and uh, if a, a news deserves to be to be spread, it, it emp uh, empowers uh, the believer to become a messenger. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, since two thousand years, the, the world is full of uh, of of, uh, of messenger-like uh, people. Uh, and uh, we, uh, in, in, in modern times, we are uh, almost incapable of conceiving a, a way of existence that is not charged uh, with uh, this co communicative force. Yeah? And to communicate always means uh, to have a, a message to deliver. Yeah? And only in, in, in our days, you know, we see that the in inflation uh, <coughs> Of, uh, of the net, uh, uh, net capacities has led to a content inflation as well, and uh, nobody bothers if you have a uh, if if you have a message, and and this is what uh, uh, is, uh, is 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 a dramatic uh, discovery for, uh, for 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 modern man. He believes he, he or she has something to say. Nobody listens because everything everyone else has. A, has become a messenger in his own way. Yeah. That, is, that is what Kafka understood mm -hmm. in the first place in, in his uh, very beautiful short parable when he said, uh, uh, they were, <coughs> to them was offered the, uh, the, the alternative to become a, a king or a messenger. Yeah. Uh, as everybody wanted uh, in, in the world of children uh, choose to become a messenger. Yeah. They are running 
through the world and shouting to each other their messages that have become meaningless because there are no kings behind. You know? uh, they would like to commit suicide and to put an end to their miserable life, you know? uh, but they do not dare. You know? Being the Dienst Eides, sagt er, because your uh, uh, commitment to the service, to the delivery service. Yeah. I think uh, this sh short story uh, is uh, the, the 20th century in Nutzen. <laughs>